Today's lesson is about colons and semicolons. They are punctuations used in the written English language. A colon is represented by two dots in a vertical manner, whereas a semicolon is represented by a dot and a comma. The basic function of a colon is to introduce lists, words, phrases, etc. Whereas a semicolon is used to link closely related sentences. There are sentences that have got equal importance. These are the three beverages, tea, black tea and iced tea. Colon to introduce a list. These are the three beverages, tea, black tea and iced tea. So over here, we've introduced a list of different types of tea. And therefore the colon is used after the noun beverages. If the sentence was, the beverages are, and then the colon, and then tea, black tea, and iced tea, this sentence is wrong. You cannot separate the verb are with a colon. Instead, you could just write, the beverages are, tea, black tea and iced tea without the colon. Similarly, you cannot separate the prepositions also with a colon. You cannot say or you cannot write, he has got houses in India, USA and UK. So over here, the colon is unnecessary. You could just go ahead and write, he has got houses in US, UK and India without the colon. You use colons also to separate the main title from the subtitle. For example, if you're talking about a book, Harry Potter, then you have got the colon and then the subtitle of the book is The Order of the Phoenix is to be released next. I love this house, although it is small. So over here, we've got pairs of commas that are used before the introductory word although and after the word although. So here we find that the comma before although is unnecessary and in such cases that comma is referred to as a comma splice. You need to remove the comma and then replace it with a semicolon. Cakes here are baked fresh as soon as the order is placed. So over here we have got the colon after the word fresh. It gives us more information about how fresh the cakes are. The different fruits available are the following mango, apple, orange and watermelon. Now if you rewrite the sentence as the different fruits available are and then when you have the colon it is wrong. You cannot write the colon after the verb are or any other verb. I'll go with iced tea, it's the best. Semicolon for closely related sentences. I'll go with iced tea. It's the best. So now we've got two different sentences that are closely related and therefore we use a semicolon. Now these two sentences are independent clauses and therefore you need to use a semicolon. I prefer coffee. I also drink tea sometimes. Semicolon for sentences without conjunction. I prefer coffee. I also drink tea sometimes. So here again we have got two different sentences, they are independent clauses, they are closely related. The first sentence leads to the next and therefore they are separated by a semicolon. If this sentence was written in a different way with a conjunction, then it would be, I prefer coffee but I also drink tea sometimes. So over here we have got a comma and then a conjunction and then the rest of the sentence. This sentence is right. But you cannot use a semicolon here. To also use semicolons for phrases that have got commas within them. You can visit these places. The zoo which is nearby. The amusement park which has got water rides. The resort which is relaxing. So all these phrases are separated by semicolons and they have got commas within them.